Hi folks, my name is Anam Kayser Javed and I'm the SNP MP for Airdrie and Shops. It's an absolute pleasure to speak to you ahead of the SNP conference and to join such an incredible lineup of speakers. Friends, in 2014 we were asked to envisage what kind of country we wanted Scotland to be. Then, as now, each of us thinks of something different some picture our economic potential, an economy finally unleashed by having a parliament with the ability to better tailor policies and support for businesses to our own needs. Some chose to look to a greener, more sustainable future, a vision of Scotland as a world leader in the creation of a low carbon economy and society. And some imagine a country with a government that is transparent and open and one that is wholly elected by the people of Scotland. And friends, that's why we know independence is the right way forward. Because we know that the possibilities are endless. But in picturing what a new nation will look like, there's one common theme running throughout our values fairness dignity equality inclusivity it's these values that define us as scots and it's these values upon which we will build a better scotland friends these values must also define our approach internationally when I think of the type of Scotland I want to see, I can't help but think of those currently fleeing from the Taliban in Afghanistan. People climbing onto planes, literally falling from the sky. Women and girls being denied education and journalists being hunted in the streets. There has been 500 570,000 Afghans displaced by the Taliban since January. And 80% of them are women and children. Now, the UK government has had decades to prepare some kind of exit strategy. But in the end, this Tory government in Westminster has abandoned the Afghani people. Not in my name, not in our name. In the last few weeks down in Westminster, this Tory government has committed to a long-term target of supporting 20,000 Afghan refugees through their resettlement scheme. This year, that number will be just 5,000. That's less than eight refugees per Westminster constituency. Less than eight. It doesn't even scratch the surface. And it's an absolutely shameful abdication of responsibility from the Prime Minister. I want to quote Professor Patty Tamara Leonard of the University of Ottawa. She said, if we lived in a just world, all nations would protect their citizens' human rights. But that's not our world. Refugees are just one result of injustice. They didn't cause their plight. Rather, they're victims of profound injustice because their home nation cannot or will not protect even their basic human rights. They must migrate in search of protection. They are entitled to less protection as all of us are simply by virtue of being human. Friends, the UK international approach is defined by what it must legally do. Our approach must instead be defined by empathy and by common humanity. Too often, the world looks at refugees as a burden, as an inconvenience. And the person behind the refugee status is totally 
forgotten. But my Scotland, our Scotland, doesn't view them as a figure on a sheet of paper. Our Scotland is welcoming, not solely because of necessity of circumstance, though that should be reason enough. We're welcoming because we recognise the potential in everyone. We recognise that a more vibrant, diverse society is a positive thing. It makes us stronger and far from diminishing our identity, it enhances it. Our economy, our entire society is dependent on the skills and expertise that comes from immigration. Our public service, especially our NHS, would be on the brink of collapse without foreign nationals working each and every day to provide a world-class service. And so, as I ask myself to think about what kind of country I want to see, I look forward with hope. I look forward to a country that sees people, not for where they come from or the challenges they've had to overcome, but for who they could be and what they could achieve. To a country that opens its doors and its hearts to all those who make Scotland their home, whether by choice or by circumstance, our Scotland will be a safe haven and a home for all. Thank you.